Here's our screen record on Android quickly and easily. We're gonna share the best screen recorder for Android, including our top picks for paid and free screen recorder options right now. So there's so many different app options out there to help you screen record. I've broken this video down into my top three ways and I'm gonna run through them now. So option number one is using the built-in screen recorder on your Android device. Now this could be a little bit different depending on which Android device that you've got, but a lot of them these days do have a built-in screen recorder. So I'm on a Google Pixel, so stock Android here, and this is where you find it. So we just wanna swipe down from the top twice to access all our quick access menu options in here. In my case here, I've got to swipe across to access the screen recorder, and we can see there is an option to record your screen. So if we press on this, then we get some basic options in here too. So we've got a little drop down arrow here where we can choose, do we wanna record device audio? So whatever's playing on the device and our microphone. I'm gonna go both. We also have the option here to show our touches on screen as well. So we can turn that on or off here. And then gonna go ahead and hit start. We can see this little countdown timer up the top there and our screen is now being recorded. So if we go across here, maybe we read some of the latest news articles or anything. You can also see that we've got that little touch marker on screen there. So your viewers can easily follow along with the videos you're recording. Now to stop the recording, we can just swipe down again from the top and you can see we've got a big notification area here that we are recording. If we press stop on that, then it's gonna go ahead. It's gonna stop our recording. It's gonna process our recording once that's done. You can then see that we get a notification here that our screen recording has been saved. We can tap on that and then we can choose how we want to open this. So let's just choose VLC player and our video here is now playing back. So it's a really quick, fast, easy, free way that you can screen record on Android. Option number two is another great free option. This one is using an app called Screen Recorder Unlimited. So this could be a great option for you, especially if you don't have access to a stock built-in recorder on your Android device. So this is what you'll see when you first open up the app. It's a very simple, very clean interface. If we come down here to settings, you can see there's a few more things in here that we can customize up, but not to the level of the next option that I'm gonna show you. So you can see, for example, we got audio settings in here. It's currently set to default. We can choose mic, camcorder, or internal in here. We can also specify our recording resolution. The default, again, is 1920 by 1080 for this specific device, but we could lower that if we needed to. We've also got the option in here to adjust our quality, so the megabits per second or the amount of data that this is capturing. I'd recommend that you're leaving this at the maximum here, which in this case, again, is 12 megabytes per second. We can also adjust our frame rate, so how fluid, essentially, our recording is going to be. I'm gonna leave this at 60, so it's a nice, smooth recording. And there's also a setting back up the top here to enable a bubble overlay or a bubble button that they call it. So it's this little icon here that will float on top of other apps so that you can control your recording. Now what I've found with this is it is handy to have it on, but it actually shows up in your video recordings. So I would generally leave it off. So we're gonna go ahead and switch that off. But then all we need to do to record with this, once we've got all of our settings and everything the way that we want them, is just to press record here to be back on the main recording screen. And then we can just press the green button here in the middle. It's gonna prompt us to say we're about to start recording. We hit start now. We wanna allow these permissions and things that it's going to ask us. And we can see now that the recording has started. What I love about this too, is it's actually counting up not only the time, but also the file size. So you can see how big your recording is at any moment as well. So we can then go through, we can do all of our screen recording, whatever it is we wanna record, play a game or whatever that might be. And then when we wanna stop the recording, we can pull down from the top and we have a notification area here again to stop recording. Now you could also just go back and open up the app and stop recording from there too. But we can see that when we do open up the app, then we can straight away see our previous recording here. And you can access all of your previous recordings down here under files as well. So we can just tap on them to open them up. So let's open this one again in VLC. So this is actually our recording here. We can scrub through this. And if we come back and we press on these three little dots here as well, then our options are to open it up, to share the file or to delete the file. So that's another great free option with more controls than you get in the stock or the built-in one on Android, but not as many controls as you'll find in this next app. So the next option then is AZ or AZ Screen Recorder. And there's actually quite a few very similar apps to this on the App Store, but right now this one is my top pick. Now, not only does this pack a punch in terms of features and control for screen recording on Android, it also has a bunch of other functionality in there too. Things like built-in video editing capabilities, things like ability 
ability to live stream directly from the app, but you also have the ability to do things as well, like enabling your camera so that you're in the recording and you can control and configure everything up while you're screen recording as well. All right, so we just opened up the app and straight away you can see our previous video recordings in here. It also does screenshots, so images as well. And then we've got all of our settings here. And there is a lot of settings. Let's take a quick look at those first. So first off, we've got our resolution. Again, full HD here is the limit of this device, but we can go lower. We can again control our video quality, either leaving this on auto or what I'd recommend is setting it on the maximum. So we've got 16 megabits per second here. We can also, again, select our frame rate. Now this one here in the free version will go up to 60 frames per second, but you can see that on their pro plan, you can unlock 90 and 120 as well. We can again adjust our audio source here, whether it's no audio, so muted microphone, internal audio, or both internal audio and microphone. I'm gonna pick that one. But we can also do things here like lock down our phone orientation. So if we don't want it rotating when we're recording and we can set that here, we can choose where our file is going to be saved. We can customize up the countdown timer before it starts. We can again enable our touches. So the little display or the cursor on screen, you can just see that there's so much more customization in here too. And while this app does have this little floating menu here as well, this button here on the side, a quick access to everything, just like the previous app did as well, this one actually gives you the ability to hide the floating bubble during recording. So with this enabled, then that's actually not gonna be shown in your finished video, which is awesome. So if we swipe up to come back to our homepage here now, with this little quick access button, we can start and stop our recording. We can bring back up our menu options here. We've got quick access to what they call the toolbox here. So this is where we can take a screenshot where we can turn on or off our camera. We can also enable a brush to draw on the recording to really call something out or feature something for your viewers. And there's also an option here for magic button too. And if we enable that, it puts this little magic button up the top here. And it says that during the recording, this will be invisible. It's an area that you can tap on to pause, resume, or long press to stop the recording. So essentially it's like this little button here, but we've got this hidden little area up here to access that too. So, so much customization. So let's go back in now to this quick access menu and let's turn on say our camera, just so you can see what that looks like. We wanna grant permissions. And you can see we've now got the camera showing up in the top right corner. If we tap on that, then we can stretch this up to make it bigger. Right, angle it down a bit, then you can see that I am actually here. But we can also flip the camera here as well with a little rotate button here. So now we're showing what's behind the camera. Let's flip it back. But I like that you can just tap to resize. You can pick it up to move it around while you're actually recording. So really, really powerful. And one of the features here that none of the other app options so far had. I'm gonna go ahead and close that now. Let's go ahead and start a recording. So we can press our little fast action menu here. We could just press this top record button here. The other way that we can do it is if we pull down to our notifications area here, we've got another fast action menu to access that same stuff. So let's press record. The recording is now happening. We can come across again, check our news updates and all of that fun stuff. When we wanna finish recording, we can just swipe down, we can pause, we can stop. We can also configure up some of those tools and things while we're recording. So if we wanted to, let's turn on the brush. Let's just say that we wanted to draw something here. We have the ability to do that on screen here. Let's swipe back down, let's go to stop. Now it says video saved, and there are a few ads and those sorts of things here on the free version. And then we can open up the main interface here by pressing videos, and we can see that our recordings and everything are in here. Now, as I said, there's so many extra tools and features and things in here other than just screen recording. So if we press the three little dots here, we have the ability to edit this, to compress it, so to make the file size smaller, we can rename it, we can delete it from here as well. And again, we also have the ability here to directly share this out too. So I think AZ Screen Recorder is an awesome option for those of you who are looking for more functionality, more control over your screen recordings. Now in regards to pricing though, the free version is amazing. There is so much in there, but to do things like unlock those higher frame rates, then that's where you will need to be on their pro or paid plan. So if I hit the little gem button up the top here to bring up the pricing, you can see this is all the stuff that you get on the pro recorder. So no ads, which there are quite a few ads on here, the live streaming, the higher quality recording, the higher frame rates, more video compression options. We've got options of monthly $4.09. Now these prices here are showing in Australian dollars. 
You got yearly for $19.99, or right now, there's a lifetime deal for $13.99, so no subscription stuff, that's a one-time purchase. So incredibly cheap considering what you're getting access to. So rounding these out, if you're someone's looking for something fast and simple and easy to use, the built-in one is probably gonna be my top pick for you. If you don't have a built-in one on your specific Android device, then that's where you wanna use something like Screen Recorder Unlimited. Or if you're someone looking for the most amount of features and control, the ability to have your camera on screen recording too, but also have the extra functionality like video editing and being able to compress your files fast and easily all from the one app, then that's where AZ Screen Recorder will be the one for you. So now that you know how to screen record on Android, if you're looking for the best video editing apps on Android to edit down your video masterpieces, then check out the video that's linked on screen. As always, there's a bunch of tools and resources linked in the description box below, and I will see you in the next video.